magnetic juggling balls. Ah, magnets are scary. This is so fun. Hey everybody, happy Monday. I hope it's great. I hope it's energetic and magnetizing and other words that have to do with magnets that I can't think of. And the reason I'm saying that is because I have some new props that I've never even seen before. I have never encountered anything like this and I'm really excited about it. I first came across this company, Three Finger Juggling, a few years ago and they're mostly known for really intense, kind of intimidating looking juggling props. Knives, machetes, axes, things like that. Of course they are juggling props, they're not actually sharp. I was scouring their website trying to decide if I wanted to shell out a lot of money to get some of those really cool looking scary props when I came across something different. Magnetic juggling balls. And instantly I knew that I had to get them. I've never even seen magnetic juggling balls. I bought these instead. I still don't have any of those cool looking knife things, but maybe someday. So let's see what they look like. They come in this nice bag. It does have a little rip in it from shipping, but I'm not too worried about it. All right, so they look like Russians. Next up, whoa. <laughs> That's interesting, I think. I know that I ordered something extra with the juggling balls. These, I think, are them. I'll, I'll deal with that after. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop. Six of the juggling balls, and then whatever these are. <laughs> Opening this. I vaguely remember this. Basically, it's a magnet pouch. There are little safety pins. You're supposed to pin this to your clothes and then you can either mount the juggling balls on your body or do cool tricks involving that idea. <laughs> We've got another one of these. The little pins are a little messed up, the safety pins, but that's okay. Ah. <laughs> magnets, be careful with the magnets. That actually didn't really hurt, it was just scary. <laughs> Give me my magnets, keep them separate. Ooh, this one's red. I have no idea if the colors actually mean anything. I think they're supposed to be strength. Some of them are supposed to be light. It can easily be removed. And then some of them are supposed to be more intense. I don't know which is which. So the yellow ones are definitely less intense. I think these are supposed to be the lightest one. Maybe the red is the medium and the black is supposed to be like hardcore. I'm afraid of them pinching me. <laughs> and what are these? Ooh. That's pretty. Everything's magnetized. We have two of these little suckers. I saw my entire life flash before my eyes. It's so scary. Oh no, the little magnets came out of their pockets and now I can't get them apart. I'm sure this can easily be fixed with super glue, but not a great sign. I know these are really new and I can tell the creator about these problems. So hopefully they can fix it. I can't get that apart. I have no idea how to get that apart. We've got the black. Jeez. Magnets are scary. We've got, we have three black ones, three yellow ones, and three red ones. And then two of these, which are currently out of order. Are the juggling balls themselves magnetic? Yes. I'm gonna quickly read the instructions. Where's my phone? God, I'm so just clumsy. Standard Russian feels with audible filling, 100 grams, very nice. A strong magnetic pouch, which I don't know which it is. I'm going to tell him that he should probably put some sort of clarification. The suction cups are supposed to be used. You put the magnet side on the ball and then you can suction the ball to any item, like a wall or something, which is really cool. Maybe if I... <sighs> All right, <laughs> got various grippy tools. <laughs> ah, not this one. <laughs> How? Be careful, if you buy these, be careful. Uh-oh. Ah, here's my idea. One. Welcome to my video on how to undo magnets from each other. 
No. so close this is it <sighs> that was fun perfect now we wait two minutes Alexa set a timer for a minute and 30 seconds that was an adventure I am gonna talk to the maker of these and try to encourage him to fix this problem so hopefully if you choose to buy these it won't be an issue and you can just have fun. Alexa, stop. Let's juggle some stuff. All right, I think to take real advantage of these, I need to be wearing some slightly different clothes. Much better. Long sleeves so I can put some magnets maybe on the arms or the elbows. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. Also long pants. I'm gonna try putting some on my knees, see what happens with that. So this is exciting. They come with these little tiny clothespins. So I just have that little one right there. Let's see. Awesome. Do I look cool? Yes! That is the coolest thing. You gotta make sure you hit it, otherwise you drop. This is so fun. I all powerful. So you juggle three a little bit, do some cool tricks, and then you're like, oh yeah, I can do four. Do some cool tricks with that. But you know, I really like juggling three balls. So let's go back to three. It's so great, I love it. I know I look silly, but they're really fun. I'm gonna try the red one, which I believe is the medium level strength. <laughs> We've still got that one going. And now, we have one on my knee. Ah, this is awesome. It certainly makes that a lot easier. Normally, if I were to do it, it ends up bouncing in a weird way. It definitely doesn't want to sit there. Being able to do it with the magnet, so much easier. I feel awesome. What's a good use for the light one? Okay, so we have a light one here, medium, strong. I'm not super optimistic that the light one's gonna be that effective, especially based on how sensitive the other two have been. So I'm gonna try to just maybe use it to increase accuracy. So let's try just an elbow catch. I'm suddenly so good at this trick. All right, let's amp this up a little bit. I've got one here, 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 and one here. And it's gonna be great. Ah! Uh, note to self, don't wear earrings <laughs> with magnets on your shoulders. Let's take those off. Much better, okay. I don't remember which this one is. This one is a medium magnet. So that's why you have the light magnet. The light one is much easier to pop off if you're trying to do like an active juggling move. Strong magnet here, and then I have a light one here, which is clearly not enough. Light magnet should not be done to hold the ball. It will not work. Strong magnet, very good. So we'll ignore this hip. Then we have our medium magnet on that knee. And then I put a strong one here because I want to see if I can catch it into it. I really want to do this finale trick. Dang it. It's very hard to hit the spot. The magic juggler, Taylor tries. Nope. That's nice. That's real nice. I liked it. Now I put some on my shoulders. The problem is this is kind of a loose shirt and it doesn't really want to stay in spot. 
I feel awesome. Now these, I'm pretty sure you can stick them to something and then the balls will stick to it. Ah, that's pretty neat. Lots of potential with that. That is enough for today. This is surprisingly exhausting because you have to be so precise with hitting the ball to the magnet. It's kind of a whole element of accuracy that I'm not used to needing. These are definitely not the easiest or most user-friendly juggling prop I've come across. If you're gonna get these, just be aware of that going in. I'm pretty sure that the actual market for this is more like a magician juggler, somebody who's gonna wanna have props disappear and come out of sight because it's hooked to the back of their belt buckle or something with magnets, or creating an illusion of some kind, like with making the ball stop in place, I'm not sure. But it definitely feels like this is made more for like somebody on stage who's gonna be performing, and less for the amateur hobby juggler like myself. That being said, it does open up a lot of fun, creative possibilities, and I feel like I'm only scratching the surface of that. So if you're somebody that just wants something different, like a new challenge, these are a pretty good option. They will definitely force you to get better in a different way, and the, the possibilities just feel really endless. Now when it comes to the actual parts, the juggling balls feel great. I definitely recommend them. They don't feel any different than a pretty heavy Russian in general. That's awesome. These little suction cups are pretty cool. They do stick to most objects that I could find, especially well on glass or mirrors. And they're pretty strong and they will hold the ball in a pretty good way. It was just like the other magnets, pretty difficult to aim for that spot and get the ball to stick there. So if you're wanting to do a lot of throwing type catching moves with the magnets, it's gonna be really hard and probably a little disappointing. In terms of the three different types of magnets, I found that the light one is actually really nice. It almost felt like training wheels for trying to learn a stall like this. It didn't feel like it was helping me so much that I wasn't still having to do some correction. And it was really nice because I could just pop the ball off like I would normally in juggling. So I actually really enjoyed the light one, which I thought was gonna be my least favorite magnet. The medium magnet I was a little disappointed with. I couldn't quite figure out a good use for a medium strength magnet. Anything that I would want to be easily released, I would use the light magnet and anything I would want to have a really strong hold, I would have the strong magnet. So I didn't personally find much use for the intermediate magnet. I found myself being really frustrated for both uses using this one. If you're only gonna get one of the magnets, the strong magnet is definitely the best one. It's the strongest. It has the most potential for doing fun things like holding on your body and stuff. But if you definitely want to do more juggly type tricks with easy releases, the light magnets are really good. But I would pass on the medium one. In terms of hooking them into my clothes, it was surprisingly easy. I was able to put those in really quick within 30 seconds on each spot. I didn't do a great job. It would be easier if you really took your time. If you're a performer, you could sew them into your clothes and make it really flush and nice. If you do buy some of these, here's an overview of some of the things that I learned along the way that will probably help you in your journey as well. One, these. When you put these on something, especially glass, it can be really hard to get it off. There's no way to grab the magnet to pull it off. I tried for a while to use my fingers, use a credit card or an ID or something. Number two, don't wear jewelry. It will get caught on the magnets. If it's in your ears, it will hurt a little bit. Don't wear jewelry. Number three, make sure these things don't get too close because they will snap together super loud and super hard and if your fingers are inside that, it will hurt a little bit. It doesn't hurt a lot, but it will hurt a little bit. Number four, especially do that with these because then they will come out. Hopefully they will fix that issue in the future. Number five, wear thin-ish clothing or put the magnets on the outside. I found with my jeans, there's a really thick part at the top where the waistband is. It was a little too thick to have the ball stick to the magnet through it. I had to put it on the outside. 
On the thinner part of my jeans, it was fine. I imagine that if you want the strongest hold, putting it on the outside would definitely be the best way to go. Number six, be careful putting your magnets near each other because they will connect like this and then you'll be stuck and you can pull them apart, but you risk ripping your clothes that way. So that is my first impression, review, whatever you wanna call it, of the magnetic juggling balls from Three Finger Juggling. Overall, I think they're pretty good for the right person, but they are definitely not for everybody. I'm always amazed at the creativity of other jugglers. So based on watching me do this, do you have any ideas for cool uses for these magnetic juggling balls? Different places to put the magnets, different tricks to incorporate them with? Give me some ideas, leave them in the comments. Maybe I'll try some if they're not too super hard. <laughs> That's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Stupid. So how'd you do it?